and welcome to the tenforums.com. In this video, we will set up an Active Directory domain controller. First, sign in to your Windows Server Desktop. If the Server Manager is not set to start automatically, launch it from the Start menu. It is essential that your IP settings are correct before proceeding. Use a static IP outside your router's DHCP IP pool, but still in the same subnet. And use router as default gateway and primary DNS server. Changing the computer name will become more difficult when we have set up the domain controller and joined the domain. Change the name now if needed. Click the dashboard link. Select Add roles and features from dashboard or from the Manage menu. Click Next. Select Role-based installation. Select your server from the pool and click Next. Select Active Directory Domain Services, click Add Features, click Next. Click Next. And one more time, click Next. Finally, click Install. Click the notification flag, select Promote this server to a domain controller. As this is the first domain on this server, we need to add a new domain forest. Name your domain. Do not use a name of an existing domain. Do not use top-level domains used on internet like .com, .net, .co, .uk and so on. In this example, I have chosen 10forums.local but decided now to shorten it to 10f.loc. Click Next. Accept the defaults. Choose a password for Directory Services Restore Mode and confirm it. Click Next. Ignore the DNS delegation warning. Click Next. Check that the NetBIOS domain name matches with your chosen domain name.
click next accept the defaults click next You can now review your selections. Click Next when ready. Click Install. Windows will restart automatically. Our domain controller is now set up and we can sign in using a domain account. At least for me, this happens every time. After setting up the domain controller and DNS server, after the restart, the system has changed the primary DNS server to localhost IP 127.0.0.1. It's not a problem, though. We just need to change it back to router's IP, the default gateway. That's it. We have now set up an AD domain controller and DNS server and created a local domain on our server. Thanks for watching. More Windows 10 news, tips, videos and tutorials at the10forums.com.